God, I can't even talk. It's, it's so cold. You don't get right like this. Like, you just fucking look up. Yeah. And then I can't talk with my neck bent to get through my chest. Will Matic challenged me to a 10 things I hate about my bike video. Uh, if you guys have never been here before, you're just clicking on the title. Uh, it's an SV650. It is a 16 year old SV650. So there may be some of that thrown in there. Uh, but since I'm on the bike right now, yeah, I'll mention some things I don't like about it. Uh, one, I don't have a fuel gauge or a working fuel light. So <laughs> that kind of sucks. Next thing I don't like about my bike, it's got to be the front forks. The front forks are very, I don't know, spongy when you're coming to a stop. Oh shit! Maybe you guys can hear it when I open this. It's cammed. Another thing I dislike about this bike is the clutch lever is heavy as hell. Like no matter, no matter what I do, even though I got adjustable levers here, even if I adjust the cable down here, it it doesn't matter. The clutch is just heavy. It's not one of those bikes where you can just like bloop, with like one finger and blip on the clutch. No, no, no. It does not work with this bike. And let's pull over over here so I can show you some other things to continue on this video of things I dislike. Oh, what's that? Let's go take a look at it. That was interesting looking. That is Harley right there. It's got a little sock over the filter. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Badass paint job, man. I love that fucking burnt bronze color and flat black. Nice. And we'll do it right here. Alright, um, next thing that I hate about this bike, you can hear it. <laughs> you guys hear that? The valve's tapping? Yeah, I think I need to get a valve job on this guy pretty soon. It's going click, 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 tapity, tap, 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 tap. Turn this off so you can hear me actually talking. Um, other things that I dislike about this bike. For one, you. <laughs> You've been starting to leak in the last thousand miles or so, so the fork seal is going out. So I don't like that. Um, the tank on this bike, there's little tiny, I don't know if you can even see them. They're like little tiny baby dents in here. And that's from me being stupid uh, when I first got this bike. I don't know why, This it just seems like this tank is a lot softer than maybe other motorcycle tanks. Was so probably in my mind. There's some more right here. But I used to take my helmet off and just like rest it on the tank and I wouldn't put it down like really delicately But I wouldn't slam it down there either I would just take it off and just rest it on there like that and apparently I think that's what all these little baby dents are from is put my helmet on the tank So um, <laughs> if you have an SB650 or any other motorcycle don't put your helmet on your tank you will dent it a real like grab handle eliminator it used to be this big sissy bar thing that went over the top I took it off because I think it makes the back look a lot cleaner but it leaves this gap right there and I don't know maybe they make a kit that covers it up or something but that's what I got for right now rear tail section on my bike isn't completely flush around the tail lights um, that's in combination to the fender eliminator and me looping a wheelie <laughs> Kickstand. Um, if you guys can see the angle that my bike leans at, all the first gen SV650s, I, I guess, have this type of kickstand on there, and it makes the bike lean over more than normal bikes do when you cock it down. It's really, really weird. Now, the good thing is, it makes it easier to get onto the bike because the seat's a lot lower because it's cocked over so much, but it does make it look a little bit strange sometimes when you're parked up against a row of other bikes. And you'll notice this one is just like cocked over a few more degrees than the other bikes. 
All right, last one I got, and hopefully this makes up 10, is going to be the lack of top-end power, I guess. And that's mainly just the way that the bike is, being a V-twin. But the, it, it would be a lot better if this bike had the top-end power. I know, it's kind of hard to have, like, the best of both worlds. Maybe that's what the freaking triples are for. And those are 10 things I hate about my bike. You guys go ahead, I'm gonna put some names up here as a call out for you guys to make a video response. But if I don't call your name out and I miss you, go ahead and do your own video response. Tag me in if you want, let me know about it. I'd love to come and watch them. And the cool thing is on the sidebar right here, there should be a lot of things that populate if YouTube is working how it's supposed to, of other people that have done top tens of things that they hate. So, until next time guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye! Fuck it, I'm going home now. I came out this cold this morning to do this video for you guys. <laughs> <sighs>